Hello everyone, welcome back. It's time for a space adventure. I think I've done enough dilly-dallying around here on the Normandy. So let's get to it. Okay, zoom out. Zoom farther out. I think I've got to zoom farther out. Now where was it that we were heading? Uh, we were going to go see Liara, I think it was, at Artemis Tau. That sounds right. I feel like I should also go check, but no, I'm just gonna go for it. Ah, shit, there's multiple choices. None of these sound familiar. Oh, crap. Okay, let me just look. So it just said go to Artemis Tau. It doesn't say if it's Sparta, Gnosis, Athens, or Macedon. So... Let's go to Athens. Travel. Oh, it's our first time traveling to another system. How exciting. You know, this game holds up pretty well for being have for having been made in 2007. It actually looks pretty nice. I mean, I know I do have, like, big texture mods on it and everything, but... It still looks good, nonetheless. Oh god, and there are multiple planets? More down here? No? Oh, there's one back there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can I go to the sun? <laughs> Pharos. Let's, let's look at Pharos. What is Pharos? Distant Pharos has seen only a cursory examination by an unmanned probe. It has a trace atmosphere of nitrogen and argon. Its surface is mainly composed of tin with deposits of carbon. Deeper craters have been partly filled with ice, suggesting that there may be a significant amount of water locked up beneath its frozen surface. A large, ice-bright crater in the southern hemisphere makes the planet visible from the inner solar system, leading to the planet's name. Okay, I guess, uh, survey it? Scans of the planet Pharos revealed an abandoned base on its moon. The recon team found nothing of interest, but much of the debris was marked with the Magna Colony insignia. What's the Magna Colony? Oh, okay, so, uh, we don't have to, like, literally go to every planet. It's just, like, stop by and see what's there and maybe get some clues. Okay, that makes things a, a bit faster. Let's work in from the outside, because it's more likely we're going to find a bit habitable Habitable? I don't know what I was trying to say there. Habitable planets nearer to the star. Circe. Circe, or maybe Circe? Like, Circe? 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 Uh, I don't even know. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Circe is a modestly sized hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of sulfur and chlorine. These give it a this give it its striking yellow green tint. As the development of the Proteus colony continues, Circe will likely be developed for helium-3 mining. Survey. Well detect. <laughs> okay. While scanning the gas giant, which we already know is hydrogen helium, we found a lot of helium. I know it's helium-3 specifically, which is probably used as like spaceship fuel or some or precursor to spaceship fuel. Nausicaa. Is this a rocky planet? Traces of sodium in the atmosphere give Nausicaa its overall dark gray color. Sodium in the atmosphere, huh? Mm. Interesting. But it is otherwise a typical hydrogen helium gas giant. It's a, an abundance of water vapor in the upper, abs, upper atmosphere account for its white clouds. And I'm really sorry that I just cannot talk. Why can't we survey this one? Alright, next. Proteus. Oh, that's the one with the colony. Okay, let's go to Salt. Salamis? Salamis? Salami? Kinda of red. Maybe it's too hot. The geological properties of Salamis have been scanned from orbit, but little else is known about it. Due to its thick carbon dioxide atmosphere and proximity to the energetic star Athens, the equatorial daytime temperatures have been known to turn the surface molten. The crust is composed of iron with deposits of platinum group metals. Ooh, it is spicy on that surface there. 520 degrees. I know the this game doesn't record my mouse for some reason, but I was like <laughs> running circles around that 520 degrees Celsius there. Alright, let's look at Proteus. 
Oh, looks like it's got water on it. Like the Hanar homeworld, Proteus has more than 90% oceanic cover. The incredible heat thrown off from Athens raises global, temp or global humidity to 100%. Creates... Oh god, that sounds awful. 100% humidity. Globally. Ugh. Creates constant cloud cover and powers colossal typhoons that rage across the planet and surface year-round. I'm adding in words to this, I'm sorry. Hot, humid, and storm-racked, Proteus's rare combination of oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, and carbon-based biosphere nevertheless recommend it for colonization. A pilot program is studying the possibility of colonies below the ocean surface, safe from the worst effects of the weather. 12,000 people live there in Ithaca. It's got a pressure similar to Earth at 1.2 Earth atmospheres. Surface temp is 34 Celsius, so it is pretty warm. Alright, I guess we can survey this again, even though it's already got people on it. A lot of oxygen, which makes sense, being that there are people living on it. Alright, well that's Athens covered. It doesn't like give us a marker that we've already explored everything though. Macedon. Okay, what do we got here? On the outside, there's Fargalus. Ooh, that's quite a name. Very interesting. I guess these are like gas, uh, or not gas, uh, like dust storms or something? Fargalus is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant with an abundance of airborne hydrocarbons. Sorbite! Large concentration of xenon. Isn't that that girl on that, like, made-for-Disney TV, or made-for-TV Disney movie or whatever? Xenon, girl of the future. Potavig! Potavig is the second of the Macedon system's giant terrestrial planets and by far the more interesting. Most of the surface is covered by a vast sea of liquid ammonia in... Ooh, that's not so good. In which a unique aquatic ammonia-based biosphere has developed. While the frozen continents are largely bereft of life, a rich bounty of complex organisms, many larger than human, flourish in the chilly, toxic seas. While dreadfully inhospitable to humans, Potavig is suitable for colonization by the Volus. That's actually what I was just thinking, due to the abundance of ammonia. Negotiations between the Systems Alliance and the Volus' patrons, the Turian Hierarchy, have made good progress. Oh, it's a chilly negative 130 degrees Celsius. Ooh. Moving in. Horolon. Yeah, that's a rocky planet down there, yeah. Horolon is an enormous terrestrial planet, half again the size of Earth. Despite its thick atmosphere, the weak output of the red dwarf Macedon leaves its surface biting cold. The crust is mainly composed of silica, but significant deposits of iron and other industrial metals are present. Those, these loads may prove rich enough to be profitably mined despite the heavy gravity. What's the gravity? Does it say? Oh, 1.5G. Matriarch's writings recovered. You were scanning the planet Horolon when a strange signal came from orbit. Navigator Presley determined the signal was from an ancient beacon. Your salvage team brought the beacon aboard and found one of Matriarch Delinaga's writings in his storage department. What does that, what does that do for us? Shargila. Oh, that's like a Venusian looking planet. Oh, we can land on this one. Oh, Level 1 pressure hazard. Shargila has a very dense atmosphere of ammonia and oxygen. Ugh. Its temperature surface, or its temperate surface is mainly composed of alumina with deposits of sulfur. Calm buoys in the system have recently logged a number of unregistered vessels operating nearby. Shargila has an extensive silicon-based oxygen-breathing ecology. Heavily populated areas are covered with fine silica. Silicon dioxide, so that's basically just sand. Dust. The respiratory byproduct of the world's higher animal forms. They breathe out sand. How about that? Uh, high. Oh, that makes sense because they they're an oxygen-based ecology, but they're also silicon-based life. So we breathe out carbon dioxide. They breathe out silicon dioxide. But really, isn't that's just silica? They breathe they fine silica. They just breathe dust. Okay. The respiratory byproduct of the world's higher animal forms, high-speed surface winds, often laced with abrasive silica dust, present a hazard. In areas where the wind deposits a great deal of silica, footing can be treacherous. EVAs are discouraged. As a one-year orbital period, 
Day is 40 hours. It's 39 atmospheres. Ooh. 25 degrees Celsius and 0.9 Gs. Yeah, let's go check it out. It's my first time down on the planet. Oh, and you know who we're taking. No one suggested otherwise, so we're sticking with them. Nice and yellowy. Blech. What can I actually do down here? Do I have to, like, try to find, uh... What's her face? Uh... What's her name? Lillian? Til Til Tilaria? Tilia? Oh, I can spin all the way around. Look at that. Okay. Let's go! I don't get, like, a map of the planet, do I? I guess I could get up somewhere high and see if I can find anything. You know, they said there's a lot of life forms on this planet, and I see absolutely nothing. It is just shit all down there. Can I jump? Oh, oh I can. Oop, 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 oop. <laughs> I can't damage this thing, can I? I hope not, because I feel like I'm really going to. I'm going to crash into something. I'm going to fly off a cliff. I'm land upside down and be stuck like a turtle. Can I shoot? Fear me, silicon-based life! What am I even looking for on this planet? Is something gonna, like, pop up on my mini-map? I have no idea what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm just gonna drive around for a while and see if I come across... Oh, what's that? Oh, there's something! Okay, forget that. I'm not gonna leave. I'm still here. There's a thing up there. Some little stars on my mini map. Ho 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 ho! Alright. Zip, zip. Oh, come on. You can do it. Oh, mountain goat. Mountain goat, come on. Yeah, there you go. What do we do about that? It's a uranium deposit. Do we need some uranium? Do I, like, need to get out or something? What? Do I press? Nope, not that. Oh, there is a map! So I'm down here. There's an anomaly. Stronghold? And some debris. Okay, how do I hop out? Oh, here we go. That's a long one. That's it's no good. Survey it? Oh, now really one of these? Large deposit of someone's uranium. Okay, get back in. It's crushing out here. Okay, now we gotta go north. So we gotta go that way. Okay, I will see you at the anomaly. <laughs> We're fine. Oh, there's a thing here. What is this? Is this the thing we're looking for? No, we're not even there yet. It's just some old crap. Oh, what button was it to get out? There it is, okay. Hello? Hello? Isn't even home in this weird little shack? No one's here, Kaiden. Get back in the car. We're leaving. Okay, it is up there somewhere. Hopefully not up there too high. Maybe it's just in this little crevice. Oh, no, there it is. This has got to be it. All right, everybody, pile out. Heading out. We got a sorry capsule. Recover! Oh, man. Okay. No. Haha! Uh. -ha! Matriarch's writings recovered. It's not clear who lived here, but it appears to have been abandoned for some time. The container in the tent held, among other things, what a Matriarch Dilanaga's writings. She just left them everywhere. Out in space, on some shitty sand planet. Oh, there's another thing immediately right over here. Oh, come on, let's go! Oh, man. Oh, just do a little turn. Come on. Four-wheel drive. Six-wheel drive. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Luckily, this thing 
seems to have like a really good gyroscope in it. Thoria. We can use that for some kind of nuclear reactor alongside our uranium. Alright, survey time. And survey says... Thoria. At least we got some dollars for that. Alright, next one. Oh, Stronghold. Maybe I should go to the Debris first. Okay, I'm gonna see you at the Debris. Alright, we're coming up on the Debris. Hello, Debra. Are you home? We're here for your Debris. And yes, I know it's debris. Please do not come into the comments being like, Anyhow. I doesn't know how to pronounce debris. Crash for alright. Electronic skill too low! Kaiden, can you do it? Okay. I'm gonna have to write this down and come back to this planet. Wait, where's my paper? Alright, I've got some paper, so now I can write down all the crap we find on these planets, and I can remember to come back to Shargila when I've got my electronic skills higher, so we can get Debra's Debris over there. You know, this is actually kind of a fun little mini-game, and I'm sure that after a hundred planets of off-roading in my six-wheeler that I'm not going to be tired of it at all, <laughs> he says sarcastically. No, I am actually having a bit of fun, but... I hope there's not going to be, like, literally a hundred planets of me just carting around in this thing that is oftentimes very difficult to control. Oh, there's a lot of red down there. I know it's a stronghold, but Jay was. What is that? Oh! Oh, a sniper! Hey! Oh! Oh no! Run! Man. Gotta wait till my shields charge back up. Will they charge back up? Or is that just my overall ship's health? Or not ship, my Mako's health, whatever. I need to... Oh! Oh, I was just trying to aim. I didn't realize there was a big gun. Haha! <laughs> Take that! You asshole! Aha! Alright, I'm I'm learning, I'm figuring things out. Okay, where's, where's the next guy? Hey, pirate man! How'd I get something in my inventory from there? They're very far away. Let's try to get that other tower over right there. Get right out of his view. Man. Come on! Why is it aiming way up there? Why is it uh, not going where I'm actually aiming? Is it because it just always will... Okay, that worked better. Wow, we incinerated him! back here. Now oh, come on. <laughs> God, this thing is unwieldy. You know what? Come on. There we go. Fine. Woo! Oh, God. Oh, don't get stuck. That's difficult to shoot anything. No, I think we've lost shields. Nobody said we've lost shields. But that little flash makes me think we did. Uh, uh, uh. How do I know that um, I've taken damage? Will the like little layout down there just change color? I mean, I don't want to go try it. All right, shields are coming back. How many of these bogeys do we have left? Ha ha! <laughs> that was overkill. Oh, come on. Just 
spray and pray over here. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Alright, is that it? I think that's it. We didn't take any damage, right? Just shield damage? That wasn't bad for our first time out. Alright, let's run inside before we get all crushed by like 40 atmospheres. It's gonna be the same inside. I hope they pressurize it properly in here. Oh yeah, good. We even got our hats off. Oh, there's gonna be dudes in here, aren't there? Is that my sniper rifle? Oh, I can't do anything yet because uh, I haven't gone in. Okay, get up against the side here. Oh, that's not a person. Enemy is everywhere. Enemy is everywhere. They say that a lot. Oh, come on. You guys, don't just stand out there like right. that, Rex. Come on. Do nothing. Come on. <laughs> I think I'm a big fan of this combat in this game. That was Rex. It's a, it's a freak out that I just shot Rex. Go, go, go! Plus shields. Wow. Hold the line. Are these guys just significantly stronger than us? Is that the problem? Kinda. Of. Can you please get up? Enemy is everywhere. Was, did I get that one ability that allows me to revive my pals? No, I did not. What is that? What are you zapping me with? God, I'm in bad shape. What is hitting me? Okay. I need a little bit of health. Maybe I should just switch over to my close up gun. You must die! Plus shields! What just hit me? What is that? Oh really? Uh, uh, what the hell? Really? You can't just start me back inside there? Oh, Christ, okay.